In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to take you along as we travel down the 150-mile yard sale trail. It's right along the water, and it's all the way up the thumb. We came across a lot of great garage sales that day, and we can't wait to share what we found with you. So if you're ready to hop into Debbie's van, then let's do this, because we have some serious garage sailing to do, folks. One quick note before we get started, though, I just want to welcome you if you're new to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now the day started out like any other day. Debbie was right on time, like clockwork. Good morning, Debbie. But there was just one thing wrong. My mom wasn't feeling well, and she said just to go ahead and go. Okay. Um, she's not feeling too well, so she told us just to go. Okay. All right? We'll go buy stuff for her. There you go. All righty. Now, this is a little concerning because she wasn't feeling well on the day of the show either. I mean, she really didn't miss anything other than a downpour. You guys, this is a complete nightmare. It is pouring. We're trying to get sides up, but look at this. This is how hard it's coming down. I know it says rain or shine, but <laughs> I don't know. The rain eventually subsided, and then we did get some business. And I want to thank everyone who came out to see us. You all were so nice, and it was a pleasure meeting each and every one of you. Oh my gosh, just look at my hair. Oh yeah, it's probably better that my mom didn't go to this one. She would have been miserable. You never know when things are just not going to turn out right. God's given you all the signs. The first sign was the gates not opening at the storage unit when all my tables and tents and everything was in there. I called and I called. It was just a nightmare. The second tip off that it wasn't going to be a good show was when I woke up and there was rain. It wasn't supposed to rain till nighttime. This could not be any worse. This is us on the way to the show. And yes, it could get worse because it started to downpour as we set up. To get sides up, but look at this. This is how hard it's coming down. I am glad that I had the chance to meet the vendors behind us. They're a mother and daughter team, and they watch Flea Market Rescue. Their booth is called Heather's Endeavors, and I love their booth. It looks so cool. Well, just take a look for yourself. These little birds were so stinking cute. She had velvet pumpkins. Fall pillows. I love these mugs and everything else here. Nice work, ladies. I came across one of these at a garage sale. I wish I had picked it up. Anyway, just a really nice booth. I will leave a link in the description for Heather's Endeavors in case you saw something you might like or you just want to follow them on social media. Now, let's get back to our garage sailing. So yeah, this was the second thing my mom was going to miss because she wasn't feeling well. And you know my mom. She is someone who wants to go, go, go. Okay, we're just trying to get the last of it in the car. I did it. You got it? Yep, I got it. Okay. Oh my gosh, Mom. Look at that. Do you, do you think we should go to one more yet? No. <laughs> I think we're totally packed. So going out today is a little bittersweet, needless to say. You know, on one hand, I'm excited to go garage sailing, but on the other hand, I really wish my mom could go. But I guess Debbie and I will just have to carry on. So we headed out to the 150-mile yard sale trail. This goes all along the water, and it's really beautiful. It's actually the one that we went where the pumpkin lady was. Do you guys remember that episode? It seemed no matter where we went, there she was. And she was a picker, so she was getting all the good stuff before we could even get out of the car. So the reason she got the name Pumpkin Lady is because at the first garage sale, she bought these. And if I had just been a few minutes earlier, I could have bought them. I loved them. Then at the next garage sale, we saw her again carrying away stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's the Pumpkin Lady. Needless to say, we had to keep two steps ahead of her if we were going to get anything that day. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a really great video. So here we were again, and I was hoping we would not run into her. The first garage sale that we came across, I found this green ladder. It was vintage, and it was only $3. You know I had to get it. Oh, wow. 
it is cool. Debbie noticed this chair and she said she really liked it. It's only $2 too, Debbie. Can you guys believe it? $2 for a vintage chair? Let the garage sales begin. Holy smokes, $5 for a table? I couldn't wait to see what else they had. You like that? I do. Debbie likes these drying racks. This one is a little big though, I think. I thought this was a pretty plaid throw. I was looking at it thinking, hmm, it probably could go for like maybe fall, but then again, it probably could go for Christmas too. It was kind of in between. I didn't end up getting it because it had a lot of those balls on it. I know I could have probably shaved it or whatever, but I just kind of passed on it. Here's a few more chairs. Now for this desk, they're wanting $100. Now I think this one is a little more on the higher side because I picked up a desk that was very similar to this. It came with a vanity stool and a dresser and I paid $80 for the set. So for that reason, I'm gonna pass on this. But other than that, I think their prices are fabulous. Hey, do you guys remember what I did with that desk and the dresser? Yep, I ended up taking this old desk and turning it into something pretty in pink. It sold pretty quick at the vintage market that I took it to. Then for the dresser, I painted it white and I did all this applique on it. It was absolutely stunning and I sold it on Facebook Marketplace. The woman who bought it, I want to say, drove like an hour and a half to come and get it. It really was gorgeous. And if you want to see how to paint these, there is an actual tutorial on my YouTube channel. All right, let's get back to the garage sale. I then went into their barn and oh my gosh, if you watched the last video, you know I'm on the hunt for fall. And that's exactly what they had. They had a whole bunch of fall pieces. Oh, look at this owl cookie jar. He looks like Halloween to me with those eyebrows raised like that. I might have to get him. He's spooky. What did you find? I think these birds would be really cool for Halloween. Oh my gosh, Debbie, you're right. Something cute you put them in reach. You do a lot of things. Heck yeah. This one's a little weird looking, but it's cool oh, at the, the same cardinal. time. Yeah. Yeah. And then... I found these little birds for your mom. Oh, she loves to have these. Oh yeah, she would like those for sure. And then I thought this would be cute just to put on a uh, snowman or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, and then you have this too? Oh yeah, just a candy jar. Oh yeah. I think it's cute. Oh, yeah, very cute. This would be great to add a bowl on. It makes a perfect decorative base. Debbie came across this sign and we couldn't help but laugh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was a sign from the universe. <laughs> or my mom. She's sending me signs. <laughs> I think she's sending you signs. Heck yeah, it could be a sign. I mean, after all, here we are going garage sailing without my mom. We're yucking it up, having a great time, and here she is sick on the couch. She did tell us to go, but, you know, I think it was just the guilt getting the better of us. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I know my mom. She wouldn't have wanted us to stay home just because she wasn't filling up to it. Now, this is really cool, and at $3, boy, this lady's prices are fabulous. Oh, cheesecloth. We're going to use this on a, like a Halloween project. More birds. Boy, this lady has everything. Oh, we sure could have used these on that trash to treasure with Jenny. So I gave Jenny this big doll rod to stir this up. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm sure she wished I had found these before that episode. Hmm, what is this? This looks like some kind of Halloween tree that you can twist. Do I need these styrofoam balls? I definitely don't need pom-poms. This could be cool for like maybe a tin man or even a snowman. And it's a quarter. 
I had one of these before. It wasn't quite as old as this one is, but I had one. This is a buck. Let's get it. Oh my gosh, a whole box of pine cones for $3. And they're the large ones too. This is great for fall. This is great for Christmas. Oh, I need these. These would be perfect in bottles. Do you guys remember the barn sale I went to? And she had the coolest dried flowers in a lot of her things. Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting these. Now I came across these and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have these too. But then when I picked the one up, it came off the stick. But you know what? They're still good for bowl fillers, even if they do fall off. I'm going to get this box for $3. I can't go wrong. Oh my goodness, enamel. <gasps> I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do you want them? If you don't want them, I, I will take them. Wow. I might need this one too. I could put like a snowman during Christmas. I think we're going to get this too. This is some great wood for projects, and I have the perfect Christmas project in mind that I'm gonna do for a trash to treasure, so we're gonna have to get that too. Well, as you can see, I have a nice collection of stuff, and this is our first garage sale. If you ask me, I think we're doing pretty darn good. The next garage sale that we went to, she had some really beautiful fall decor. I mean, just look at this pumpkin. It's really pretty, and it's only $3. We're gonna have to take this cute little guy too for 10 cents, are you kidding me? I might have to get these two, too, if I can just get a good look at him. Oh, yeah, he's worth $2 all day long. Well, we're going to have to get her, too. They're like pilgrims, right? Yeah, they're pilgrims. So I ended up getting all this here, including this tree. This tree was only $3, and it was like a collapsible one, so you could store it anywhere. I decided to check on Debbie and see what kind of things she found. Oh my gosh. She's See? sending me message after message. She definitely is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mom, you might have not went with us today, but we were finding things all over that reminded us of you. Our next stop, Debbie came across this glass pumpkin. I thought that was so cool. We couldn't wait to see what was in the tent. I love this cup and let me tell you why because during Christmas you can put like a little pine seedling in there you can tie a little hang tag around there you could even do a little snowman out of there too we're getting this this would have been super cool if the handle wasn't broken well 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 what do we have here a bunt pan oh yeah my mom would have bought this for sure if she had been here she's been saving them up because I think she wants to make these pumpkins for her fall if you haven't had a chance to watch this Trash to Treasure, make sure you do because I teach you how to make pumpkins from bunt pans. Oh my gosh, these ornaments are absolutely gorgeous. The woman told me I could have all of them for $5. Can you paint it up to look like the Tin Man? Oh my gosh, that would be really Wouldn't cute. Wouldn't be adorable? Love it. Our next stop was a yard sale that had lemonade, and you know I bought some because it was getting quite hot out there. I saw this and immediately I wanted it, until I realized it was missing a hook. I love that stand for a dollar. One dollar for all those clothespins? Oh my gosh. This is such a cute sign and for three dollars that's not bad at all. I almost got those birds but when I picked them up they were plastic and they were so cheap. But what do you want for a quarter, right? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, I might need to get this. I just bought some dried flowers that I could put in there. Now that I have that X tool and I also have those stamps, I look at silverware even more. There's just so much cool things you can do with them, like these plant markers. So after we hit this garage sale, Debbie said, you know what, I have to hit the bathroom. So she stopped at a little restaurant and I waited in the car. So oh, Debbie went in the bathroom and I'm sitting here in the car and I don't think her air's working. <laughs> I'm literally sweating. Little did I know while I was sitting there sweating that Debbie was almost getting beat up in the bathroom. 
A Jamaican woman who owned the restaurant was so mad that Debbie used the bathroom. She was literally beating on the door saying, who's in my bathroom? Debbie said she was scared to come out. Note to self, make sure you use the bathroom before you even leave the house. After Debbie got over the initial shock, we hit another garage sale. This guy had some cute tables, nice jugs, but it was a little more on the expensive side. Where is that? Oh, the metal stool? Debbie was just saying that normally you see wood ladders, not these steel ones. I love the crates. Look at those legs. Look at those. Yeah. I ended up buying this crate here. The guy wanted seven. I was getting ready to pull the money out when Debbie said, well, will you take five? And he said, sure. So it just goes to show, it doesn't hurt to ask. Holy mac, look at those windows. Holy mackerel. Wow. That is really something. This guy really did have some nice pieces here. We decided to leave that one and head on to another garage sale. I really like this love sign, but do I like it enough to get it? Eh, I don't know, I'll have to think about it. Oh, we got some jute and string here. I really like these candlesticks, but at $4, I was not about to pay that. Yeah. The next garage sale we went to, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that little bench. How much do you have on this little bench over here? The little bench? Yeah. I'm gonna take that for sure. Garage sales are the way to go, Debbie. Aren't they? Huh? That's a lazy Susan? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Do you know back in the day I had these bowls? That was his first set. Yes. Yes. So crazy. Crepe maker, maker and griddle. You know, I don't like crepes. Do you? I know. I just, I don't get into them. Oh, I know. She loves crepes. Not me. Mm -mm. How much do you have on this one here? It's okay. It's sold. This lady was definitely motivated to sell, and I was so thankful. After I purchased those couple things, we headed off to another garage sale. Oh, I'm really loving this peace sign. I have to get this for Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys, this desk is only $20. So remember what I was telling you about $100 being a little too much? This one is definitely worth every penny. Such a great price, but I don't need another desk. He's kind of cute in his own little weird way. But you know what? I have my eye on these. These would be great for Thanksgiving. I think I might get this set. This wreath for $2 is perfect for Thanksgiving.
Oh yeah, those are popular. We sell those all the time. How much are those? Two dollars a piece. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Thank you, Debbie. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice, Deb. All ready done. How much? So we ended up finding out that it was $10 per plate and it was $20 for the canisters. As much as I like these pieces, I didn't end up buying any of these. I did, however, buy this enamel pot. It said $8, but I asked her if she'd take six and she did. I came across this old kitchen tool. I'm always looking for kitchen tools because they sell so well. I believe this one is a rice masher, they call it. I think that's what they call it. Debbie loved these tables because she said they're great for outdoors. You can stack them, you can put plants on them. Now I have one of these in the store, but I thought it would be great to get another one so we could put maybe pop and water for our open house. Don't forget that our open house is gonna be on September 30th and we'll have tons of fall decor, we'll have food and beverages, we'll have raffles and a meet and greet. Now she did want 20 for this and I just really didn't wanna spend that much. I was hoping it would be like 10, 15 tops. So we'll just have to find something else to put our pop and water in. Next, I came across this large Mother Teresa sign for $5. You know I bought it. I like this. And the wine rack's not bad either. I think I'm going to get them both. Yes. Oh, what did you find there, Debbie? Oh, yeah, those houses. Debbie says she's going to paint it all black and it's going to be perfect for Halloween. Oh yeah. Like for $1, yeah. winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, and those are cute too, Debbie. I know. I think they're adorable. Aww. I almost passed this beauty. Are you kidding me? It's perfect for Thanksgiving and it's $3. This next garage sale was incredible. They had a lot of vintage kitchen tools and they were priced so reasonable. So as I was looking at the kitchen tools, I heard Debbie ask about these Christmas trees. I was so bummed because I wanted them. <laughs> so you're not you're not gonna take them? No. Then I'm gonna buy them. Okay, good. Debbie was asking for me. Oh my gosh, all the Christmas trees for twenty dollars. Oh my gosh, heck yeah! I was absolutely over the moon. Oh my gosh, this was the deal of the century. These are gonna be perfect in my shop during Christmas. If my mom was here, she would have definitely got them all. How much on your little chairs? These chairs were so stinking cute and chairs sell. She only wanted $2 a piece. I took them all. Then I came across these two beautiful pictures. I'm gonna get these pictures too. These are kind of cute. How much are these? <laughs> um, I got the straw man with the other trees. You would? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Did you hear that, you guys? She's throwing them in with my other trees. How sweet. I ended up spending $60 at this garage sale and it was worth every penny. Oh, we were not done garage selling yet. 
I saw this when I got it at Debbie's van and I thought, oh, I might want to get this. But then when I touched it, it was real plasticky and it just wasn't well made. These are good to do like little winter scenes. You could put a little tiny reindeer, some snow in there, paint the base. How much do you have on these here? Uh, you can have them all for a buck. All right, I will take them. That's a deal. I asked about these. She said, take them all for $5. I gladly will. And I'm also going to take this tote with those ferns. And that's exactly what I did. And then we headed out. At this next garage sale, I came across all these pumpkins. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have these. I asked the lady how much? $2. I had to buy them all. What a deal, and they're such a pretty color. Oh, my grandpa used to smoke those cigars. Okay. That picture's pretty. Oh, and look, another bump pan. My mom would be going crazy right now. That's a cute rolling stand. Oh, that's really pretty. Love that. That pillow's cool too. There was another garage sale around the block and look at this piece of furniture they had there. $80 for this beauty. I really love this wicker chair, and it was only $10, but there was only one. I really feel like you need two chairs. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. Are they talking about garage sailing? Debbie, what'd you find? Show me. Oh, that's super cute. And that, I love that too. Look at that. It looks like real antique. Her prices, Her prices are good. That's a cute dresser and mirror set. I ended up getting this little lantern because I thought it'd be perfect for Halloween. This next house had the most beautiful greenhouse. Debbie and I were like, oh my gosh, we want one. I like the chicken too. Unfortunately, we only found one thing here. Ashes, but I'm gonna use it to make flower arrangement for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, and that's perfect. In my front porch. Love it. At this next garage sale, I fell in love with this jug. I've never seen a white one like this, but it was $15 and that was just more than what I wanted to spend. I was thinking like 10, $12. I noticed a lot of their stuff was like antiques and it was priced as such. Okay, at this point, I'm thinking I need an antique boot. I mean, it's perfect for Halloween. You can have an arrangement in there, hang a hang tag from it. I don't know, you guys, this could be my one crazy purchase. Oh, these are only a dollar. This is a good price for them. Yeah, I did. I most certainly did. I made these stars out of them, and you can do that too. Just throw them over a Christmas tree, and they look awesome. This next garage sale was actually an estate sale. Not only did they have stuff outside, but you were able to go inside and check things out. I was on a Christmas tree roll, so, you know, these just appealed to me right away. I didn't want to buy all of them because they were $5 a piece, but Debbie thought I should buy this one here. I do like the darker, kind of antique -y kind of look. It's like a cross between silver and gold. Oh, do you guys remember these? Let's label everything. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's label everything, right? It takes you an hour to spell one thing. Let's just spell one thing. These little hand brooms, I've seen go up to $10 to $12. So at a dollar, I'm gonna buy them both. 
Yep, that is definitely a great deal, and we could use them for Halloween. Those caster wheels are cool. I wonder how much those are. Caster wheels are expensive. These, however, were four for a dollar, which was a bargain again. On the outside, I saw these plates that had that 12 print. That is such a popular thing. Even IOD is doing it. Oh, that's a cute basket. What is it? Oh yeah, that is cute. Now I love how these felt. These felt like, you know, very primitive. And I knew that if I would paint them black, they would be awesome. So I bought them for $8 and I ended up painting them black. I tied a little jute around them and I think they came out awesome. Wow, that's a cool fan, Dummy. Yeah. Now these are really cool. Somebody made these. Debbie thought this was a cute sign. I thought these were metal. They actually turned out to be plastic. I remember this garage sale. This was here last year. I ended up buying him for a dollar. He's going to be perfect for Halloween. At another garage sale, we came across these four hanging baskets. Now, there was no price on there, so I really wasn't sure how much it was, and there was no one outside for us to ask. She had some really nice stuff, though. Well, just look over here. Isn't that bike super cool? Debbie loved this bike here. You could put all kinds of flowers in the baskets. It would be just so cute. That wooden pendant light's pretty neat. Why are there no prices on anything? Oh, I want these houses. And no sooner did I put this down, the woman came out. She said the rooster was $40, the bike was 50, the houses were five, and then what Debbie was looking at was just a couple dollars. Oh, and the hanging baskets on the board, that was $20. We hit one more garage sale because it was starting to get late. This one had a lot of holiday decor. Debbie had me laughing when she put these glasses on. Debbie, that is you. That is you. I'll tell you one thing. Debbie almost needed those glasses after almost getting beat up at the bathroom. I thought this candle was cute in its own little weird way. Well, the garage sales might have been winding down, but you know us, we are diehards. So we wanted to stop at one more place, the Goodwill. So Debbie and I, we are finishing off at the perfect day of garage sales. Yep. We're at the thrift store. This is cool. It is cool. 
It doesn't have a price on it, but I'm going to take it up there. Again, you can use these enamel cups, those tin cups, to put like pine seedlings in. Add a hang tag. It'd be super cute for Christmas. Debbie really liked this. She thought this was really cute. I think it's very You like that, huh, Debbie? You know what I like. These are so stinking cute. I want those these. Those are adorable. Are they candles? Yeah. I don't have a price on those either, but. Oh, there's no price on my cents. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Old doorknobs. Well, it looks like they were making room for fall. Everything is cleared off the shelf, and I see a crinkle up spider in the corner. Oh, what do I see over there? There's a crack in it, though. Although this was cute, it did have a crack in it. I know I could have done something with it, but I just have a lot of projects coming up, especially with fall coming. Oh, what a cutie patootie. Oh, I love this. Oh, $2.99. I'm definitely getting it. How cute is this? And remember what I told you about picking those candles up when you find them? This is a perfect example. Although when I ran into Debbie, she had these pots in her cart and she thought that each of them would look really good on top of one of the holders. I thought that was a really clever idea though. Another 12 pattern. See how popular that is? Oh, I love this. And this couldn't be any more perfect for fall. This is worth every penny. Now this is a little more on the pricey side, but it is a really nice plant and I know I could double my money. Look at this little cutie hiding back here. At $2.99, you don't even have to ask me. It's going in the basket. Oh, I love that top. Um, can I get that? Yeah. I can fix that H. Aww. I think Debbie really missed my mom. Heck, I missed my mom. Although we had fun, it was a little bittersweet because she couldn't go. I'm hoping next time my mom's going to feel better so that she can come with us. In the meantime, I hope that you'll keep her in your thoughts and prayers for a speedy recovery. Don't forget about our spectacular fall event on September 30th at our store. I hope that you join us. We're going to have tons of fall decor, two tents, food, beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. We're also going to partner with Two Hens and a Chick, which I love their barn. They have such amazing stuff and at such great prices. So they will be open on that day as well. That whole weekend, you can go and visit them. And they're going to have a lot of great fall decor. And the best part is they're literally five minutes from my shop. So make sure to mark that in your calendars. I hope to see you. And I'll leave all the information in the description. Another thing you're going to want to mark down in your calendar is the Springfield Antique Show and Flea Market. We are going to be in Springfield, Ohio for the Antique Show and Flea Market, September 15th, 16th, and 17th. We'd like to meet up with you on the 16th, which is a Saturday at 2 o'clock at the Big Ice Cream Cone for a meet and greet. You can email me at fleamarketrescue.com if you need any hotel information. Hope to see you there. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.